If you're a member of the Andro Boot Jump crew and you're using the window storage units along with the PPT power pack, then I've got a simple modification that you can do that allows you to look at the voltage at a glance. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the PPT power pack and its uh, digital voltmeter. Now for those of you that are using the PPT power pack you'll be well aware that um, when it's inserted into the Andro window storage unit that reading the uh, voltage of the power pack entails going into the top cupboard and you've got to look inside if you've got stuff in there like I, I always do I've got to sort of take that stuff out and um, but then you've got to get inside you've got to switch the unit on and read the voltage but it doesn't actually tell you the voltage it's just a bar chart so it gives you an idea of how much is left in the uh, unit but it doesn't actually give you a voltage and I'm one of those that sort of likes to know what the voltage is so what I've done is I've come up with a simple solution that um, allows you to read the voltage at a glance and you know exactly what's left inside the unit. Before I get into the modification I just want to point out that it's always good to brainstorm ideas and do a bit of tinkering before you get to your final idea. I mean this uh, modification I'm about to show you I didn't just wake up one morning and think ah yeah I know what I'm going to do I'm going to do that. I had a thought in my head that I wanted a voltmeter uh, somewhere around here that just allowed me to check the voltage of the PPT power pack um, but originally I was going to go for one of them little square LED uh, readouts and I was going to wire it into the unit and I was perhaps going to uh, drill a hole in the bulkhead on the end and fit it in that way with a little switch but I thought mm, it's a bit, bit of faffing around and it means cutting into the actual window storage unit so over time um, I came up with different ideas and it evolved into what I'm about to show you now so tinkering is a good thing so after I'd given up on the idea of the little square LED voltage readout I found one of these in, uh, in my garage which is just like a 12 volt sort of auxiliary outlet used on boats and stuff like that or caravans two terminals on the back and I thought hmm I could use that that'd be a good idea and I thought what I could do is I could utilize one of these little voltage meters that just plugs in to there and it will give you a give you a readout so again what I thought I wanted somewhere out of the way where I could mount this and then be able to plug that in and of course I could also use that as a just a 12 volt outlet a separate 12 volt outlet so it's like you know multi-purpose so I was going to fit that over there in the bulkhead there so I was going to use a hole cutter just to put a hole in there mount that in there and I could run the wires back into the window storage unit and connect that in some way up to the uh, PPT power pack and I thought that'd be neatly out of the way and that'd be a great solution but it was whilst I was thinking about or contemplating drilling the hole with the cutter into the end of the bulkhead, I thought, hang on a minute. There's a hole already cut there in the uh, front panel of the sort of door. So I thought, hmm, I wonder if that fits in there. And you know what? It does perfectly. As you can see, that goes in there snug as a bug in a rug. And put that on there. You think, mm, am I going to open that? Simple, you just pulls open like that. Not a problem. And I'll just show you the wiring and so what I've done is I've just connected two wires onto there found a little plug 
found a little plug like that so I just wire it up and if I just move the camera to there this then plugs into one of the outputs or inputs sorry no outputs plugs into one of the outputs on the PPT power pack like that that shuts up like so and then the uh, voltmeter just plugs into there like that and you can read the voltage no problem I could leave that in there if I wanted or I can uh, just take that out so I can just have that in my cupboard like that I mean this I know I've got wires there but this is my sort of electrical cupboard anyway it's where I keep all my little plugs and leads and I've got adapters for um, dash cams and stuff like that and uh, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter so that goes in there and that goes in there put it right way up 12.1 volts um, so yeah it doesn't it doesn't get in the way when I'm if I've got this set up in sort of living mode or bed mode that doesn't get in the way if it does I just unplug it and put the uh, little flap down but also the uses for this are uh, well, just use your imagination I've got a little rechargeable torch there cheap to buy that goes in there and it charges up charges the torch so what's that or I can plug a USB adapter in like that see it's illuminated blue sure it's working and you can plug whatever you like in there oh, got a fan to keep myself cool <laughs> don't think it does a great deal to be honest we got that uh, what else have we got We've got another light another light there if you needed that or you can uh, charge your phone whatever you want anything USB really and then uh, plug the voltage meter back in and there's your voltage simple as that and the beauty of this system is if I ever want to take that out I can just unplug the two leads, unscrew the nut off the back, and it just pops out, and it's back to how it was, with no holes cut into the uh, actual unit itself. So if I ever sell it on, it's as was, or I can uh, I could move that up there if I wanted. Um, if I was really adventurous, I could run a cable from here up over the roof lining and mount the um, voltmeter in the cupboard on the opposite side don't know why you do that but it gives you that option so really you've got two and two on the other side you've got four options of where to put your LED voltmeter one of my uh, subscribers recently commented on uh, one of my uh, micro camper van videos I think it was the uh, the water bottle uh, and tap idea that I did he said um, he very kindly said you've got some really good ideas are you a mechanical engineer <laughs> well thank you very much for that it's really nice of you to say so uh, I'm not a mechanical engineer I just like tinkering I just like playing I don't know that you remember rhubarb and custard the kids cartoon um, the cat always used to uh, was it the cat or was it the dog no I think it was the dog the dog always used to go into the shed and used to hear a lot of banging and noises and then it come out and it invented something i'm just like that i love tinkering i love messing around with stuff like this and uh i'm constantly sat at home thinking me, me 
cogs are going in my head all the time thinking hmm what can I do with that how can I make that work that's just where the ideas come from so I'm not a mechanical engineer but uh, I do like tinkering so there you go there's a simple modification that you can use for your micro camper if you've got the PPT power pack that allows you to uh, install a visible voltmeter to keep a check on the uh, voltage of your power unit and uh, dead easy to do so uh, give that a try if you've got a similar sort of setup then please leave a comment down below um, I hope you enjoyed that and you found that of use if you did give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe by clicking the uh, icon down there or the one up here and uh, don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video okay i hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video